Good morning, children. Welcome to English class. In last class, I gave you homework, right, children? Page twenty one. Hope you all completed. And today, open page twenty two, children. Studio page twenty two. See there. List some objects in your think room. What we have to do, children? We have to write some names of in the think room. Think room means classroom, children. What we can see in the classroom, children? Write down six things we can write. Blackboard, bench, table, chalk paste, next book, chair, pencil. Bag, duster. As I know, children, these things we can see in our classroom. And after that, see, children, these all things are female gender or male gender. Tell me, blackbird is a girl or a boy? No, it is not a boy, and it is not a girl, and it is a living, non-living thing. Yes, sir. No. Yes, children. Non-living things like the nouns you listed are denoted by neuter gender. They are neither masculine or feminine. Yes, sir. No, children. These non-living things they are not the male gender or they are not the female gender. They are neuter gender. What they are, children? Neuter. Neuter gender. Okay, they have given some examples. See, children, in the page only: bottle, pen, chair, telephone, house, book, car, spoon, mug. These all are the neuter gender. And turn the page, children. Page twenty-three. Read the given sentences. Read the given sentences. I am reading. See, this is my favorite pencil. What is it? Pencil. It was gifted to me. It was which was pencil was. That means the pencil is replacing with the it. Is it not? It was gifted to me. The window is open. Please close it. The window is open. Please close. Which one we have to close? Window. Here also, it. The window is replacing with it. Okay. We use the pronoun it to replace nouns in the neuter gender. Okay, what we will use to write it? The pronoun it for what? To replace the neuter gender. For replace the neuter gender. Neuter gender means children, non-living things. And we already know for non-living things we will use what it. Yes, and coming to next one, read the following words. They have given four words, no children. Let's see the four words: parent, tailor, painter, child. Okay, these words. Now see, these words can be used to refer to both masculine and feminine gender. Such words are called common gender nouns. Parent means what, children? Mother or father? Only mother can be called as parent. No, both mother and uh, father also can be called as parent only. Tailor, lady tailor, or Jane Taylor can be called as tailor only. Painter also same, and child also. Yes, children. Yes, that means these words, these nouns can be called as common gender. That means both for girls also we will use this noun, and for boys also we can use this noun. For both, we can use this noun, so it can be called as common gender noun. They have given some example, children. Let's see: police officer, doctor, teacher, builder, cook, firefighter. You can see the pigs also. Both are there. Both girl and boy. Okay, lady and gent also is there. And next, turn the page, children. Page twenty-four. Page. Twenty-four. What's there? What is there in the page twenty-four? Circle the common gender nouns in the given sentence. What we have to do? 
we have to read that sentence and we have to circle the common gender common gender means for both boy and girl they should take this name that name can be called as common gender yes or no we have to circle that see here the child is playing alone in the park the child is playing in the playing alone in the park in this sentence what is the uh, common gender children yes child child circle child children and next sentence the members of the cricket team gathered for a meeting in this one members members can be boys or members can be girls circle members and third my cousin was angry with my brother and cousin cousin can be a sister or cousin can be a brother so cousin will be the common neuter gender and the baby is sleeping on the bed baby girl or baby boy they can be called as baby only that means the baby is the common gender now and the singer sang beautifully lady singer or gent singer we don't know right but singer singer means common gender circle these five noun children from the sentences and common gender nouns are used to refer to living things only always this common gender nouns only living things only yes and i am giving you homework children everyone open your companion companion to be that is page 10 children page 10 open page 10 to be look at the given images list the common and neuter gender nouns related to each one is done for you okay see the picture children in that picture common gender nouns are there and neuter gender nouns also there that means living things are there and non living things also there we have to see the picture and we have to write the names of the images okay they have given for example pillows pillow is neuter gender is there no and like that so many things are there children we have to write six only you can write patient the doctor bed fruits sheet okay like that you can write so complete to be companion page 10 that is your homework children and let's complete remaining textual exercises in our next class okay meet you next class children thank you